everybody, it's Edie, and welcome to Mixed Mediology Monday. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be in time lapse because I actually don't think this project is going to take very long for one thing. And for two, I'm not really sure you'd be able to see what the hell I'm doing <laughs> if it was on time lapse because I'm going to be sewing. And the way my camera is set up, I just don't think you would get a good view of what I'm doing, enough to do this on your own uh, with this camera angle. So, I'm going to be talking you through this week's Mixed Mediology Monday, and um, it's actually going to run quite a bit like my classes run, because what I will usually do is talk, and then, you know, for the tedious bits where I'm just gluing collage down or stitching or whatever, I'll put it in high speed or just... Um, say, you know, here I'm going to finish this part and then I'll be back. So that's kind of what I'm going to do today is basically give you a free mini class. This is how my classes run. So it's a sample class, so you can see how my classes run for one thing. Um, but also it's going to give you a little bit more information about what I'm doing this week instead of just putting it into time lapse. So if you remember, I got this dress uh, on the Thrift Shop Thursday video this week. And if you haven't seen it yet, it would be Thrift Shop Thursday for May 15th. And that's that's where I found this dress. And it's a size, it's a size 5X. So this is going to swallow me if I tried to wear it just like this. But I didn't buy it because I wanted to wear the dress. I bought it because I love the bottom part. And what I'm going to do real quick is just show you a photo of what this full thing looks like because there's no way I'm going to be able to get it on camera for you to see. So this is what the dress looks like right now. And you can see it's got this pretty beading here. So I'll probably just save this fabric and use it as a background or, you know, embellishment on some project in the future. Um, but then it's got this elastic section right here and this actually goes like right up under where the breast would be and then it starts the bottom of the dress and it's this gorgeous teal and like fuchsia and plum purple tie-dye. And I love big flowy skirts like this so as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have this for my Mixed Mediology Monday project. So what I'm going to do is turn this dress into a skirt. It shouldn't take me very long at all, which is why I'm not doing it in um, fast forward in high speed. So I'm just going to kind of talk you through what I'm doing and make the skirt. And then I will show you a photo of the finished project because, again, it's, there's no way it's going to show up on here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I need to do is lay this out completely flat and what I'm going to do is cut right here along this this seam here I'm going to cut all the way across there right where the top of the dress ends right where the breast line ends and um, this would be like the the breast line of the, of the dress this is actually going to be the top of my skirt it's already got some elastic here which is going to give it some give which is perfect because I'm putting elastic in the waistband and there's already like a two and a half inch two and a half ish inches seam here. So let me just measure this. Oh, it's right at two inches, which is perfect because I'm putting in some fairly wide elastic. Um, so this is going to wrap perfectly around my elastic. So I've already got my two inch um, hem at the top, basically. Once, once I cut this off, this is where my hem at the top will be. So what I'm gonna do is just lay this out cut directly across this top line here and cut the top of the dress completely off. So I'm going to do that and then I will be back. Okay, I cut the top of the shirt off and I just wanted to show you that my cut line is not perfect. It's actually kind of ugly, but it doesn't even matter because this is going to be inside the skirt. It's going to be folded over like this. I already have my good, pretty, perfect seam right here, so this didn't need to be perfect. I just, I just cut it off really quickly. But you will notice that I cut just above the seam line 
because I didn't want it to um, come apart or fray. So I cut just above, just on one side of this top seam right here. Okay. So now what I want to do is flip my skirt inside out because it is a skirt now. The top is completely gone. It's just the bottom of the dress. So I'm flipping it inside out. Okay, you can see that I have flipped it inside out now. And what I want to do is find the side seam of the dress. This is the side seam going down the dress. And I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to fold this in half, this elastic -y bit here. This is actually going to be the top seam, the elastic waistband of my skirt. So I'm going to start here on the side seam and fold this over in half. And I'm just going to pin it right there. Now I'm just going to come and do that to the entire waistband of the skirt. And I want these little elastic bits here, these little creases, I want those to be in there. I don't want to stretch this out. I'm not going to stretch it. I'm just going to let it lay gently where it will and pin it. And I'm going to go around the entire waistband and just pin it into place because this is actually where my elastic is going to go for my waistband on my skirt. And you'll notice I'm not pinning extremely closely because it's just one straight stitch. So I, I'll be able to kind of hold it down into place. It, it doesn't need, I don't have to pin it right on top of each other. You just want to make sure you don't pin the rest of the skirt. Make sure it's just the waistband. So I'm going to finish pinning this and then I'll be back to tell you the next step. Okay, I'm at my last pin. So I'm just going to fold this over, make sure it's still lining up, make sure I don't have any big bulges or, or gaps in the fabric. Now, I have pinned this fairly far apart, but I'm going to take this pin and flip it up. All of my other pins are going sideways. You can see this one goes sideways, the one beside it goes sideways. And then I'm going to take another pin and come right here beside it, probably about two inches or so, and do another pin that's going up and down. So you can see these pins are all going sideways, sideways, and then these two are pointing up and down. They run like this. And the reason for that is because I don't want to forget and accidentally stitch this up because if I stitch it up then I'm not going to be able to get my elastic in there. So what I want to do is start stitching at one pin, stitch all the way around the waistband and come back to this pin and then I'm going to stop. And I'll finish it off and then I'll insert my elastic right here and then finish stitching the, the, this last little bit of the seam. So what I'm going to do is pop this on the sewing machine and again I don't think you're going to be able to see what I'm doing here. Um, and I'm just going to run a hemline right here, right along the bottom edge, kind of where that seam already is, right where my pins are. I'm just going to run a stitch all the way around the waistband right there along the bottom edge. And again I'm starting at one of those pins that goes up and down and I will be stopping at the second pin. Okay, I have stitched all the way around my waistband and you can see my pink thread there, my pink stitch line. I went all the way around the waistband and I started at the one pin and I stopped at the other pin. So I still have this little gap right here, this open space where my waistband is not stitched. This is where my elastic is going to go. So now what I need to do is measure my elastic. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to wrap it around my waist where I want my skirt to sit. And then I'm going to pull it probably an inch or two tighter. Because for some reason, whenever you pull it around your waist, it's not going to be snug enough once you, once you get your skirt on. You need to pull this a little snug around your waist. So if you, I'm going to show you on my wrist. If you're trying to measure your, your skirt, let's just say my wrist represents my waist. So if you just wrap like this, gently and loosely, 
when you stitch your elastic, when you put your elastic in your skirt and then stitch your skirt up, it's going to be too loose and it's going to fall back off. So you want to pull your elastic just a little snug on your waist and then cut it. And you may still need to trim it a little bit once you get your skirt made, but you probably have to try it on and um, and adjust it if you need to from there. So I'm going to measure my waist and cut my elastic. All right, I've measured my elastic and whenever I measured, my elastic came to right here. I need to give myself a little bit of room to stitch, so I'm actually going to cut it about an extra inch. And you could measure your waist and do this, you know, the, the correct steam, seamstress way. You know, measure your waist, measure your elastic, and then cut. Um, I just, to make it easier on myself without having to go through all that, I just put it around my waist, measure, and then give myself a little bit of room for extra stitching because I like to really make sure my elastic is stitched together. So I will overlap it a bit. You can see I've got about an inch there of overlap. So I will overlap it and, and stitch back and forth a few times to make sure it's not going to let loose. You just don't want your elastic to be right on the edge. You, you need plenty of room to make sure it's nice and secure on the seam. So now another trick that I like to use is putting a safety pin on the end, on both ends of the elastic. So this is how I put elastic into the waistband of things. So I'll take my safety pin and put it through my elastic like this. I will find the opening on the waistband of my skirt and then pin pin my elastic right here right to the little opening there so that way if I if I let's lose I won't pull it all the way through and it won't get stuck it's it's secure right here and uh, I don't forget where where it's at either. I, you know, I don't have to worry about losing it. So now I want to make sure that my elastic is nice and flat and all go in the same direction. Make sure there's no flips, no kinks, none of that. I'm going to take another safety pin and I like to use a larger safety pin for this. And I, I insert the safety pin going into the direction, in the direction of the elastic. And I have it sticking past the end. So, like this one down here, it doesn't matter which way you put the, the safety pin in, you're just pinning it to the skirt, so it doesn't really matter. But you want to make sure it's nice and flat here, and straight. And then you want this safety pin to be going the same direction as the elastic. So it's running that way. And close it up. So now what you're going to do is take your safety pin with your elastic attached to it, and push it up into your seam line, your hem line here for your waistband. And then you just kind of, ouch, my safety pin came undone and stabbed me. Ow, I'm bleeding. God. Okay, so let's try that again without stabbing myself again. Take your safety pin with your elastic on it. And it's a little difficult to get started, just that first little bit but once you get it going it's no problem so now you want to like bunch your skirt waistband up Let me see how I'm doing that I'm just kind of pushing it up and then you want to hold the safety pin and pull the skirt and just do that for the entire waistband so I'm holding the safety pin here and pushing the skirt up onto the safety pin now I'm holding the safety pin at the other end and pulling the skirt around. So I'm just going to do that and insert my elastic onto the waistband, or into the waistband, and then I will be back. There we go. I have taken my elastic and run it all the way through the waistband, and you can see it's kind of bunched up here and um, it's got some sections that are really tight and some sections that are really loose. That's fine, just leave it. We're gonna fix all that after we get this last little bit of seam 
stitched closed. So uh, what I did was safety pin this here so that it wouldn't slide back through while I was finishing up some other projects. And now I am ready to sew my last little bit of the waistband. So I'm going to pull the elastic out quite a bit so that I have room to work. Close my safety pin back up so I don't stab myself. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I have it safety pinned here as well. I'm going to pull my elastic out so that I have plenty of room to work and I'm just going to stick my safety pin here out of the way. So now I have a couple of inches to work with on each half of my elastic. You want to go through and double check and make sure that your elastic is straight and flat and not flipped or bunched up anywhere. If it has a little bit of a bunch like I got um, right in here somewhere can't really tell where right now because it's all bunched together but um, my stitch went a little bit crooked and so it was snug getting the elastic in there that's okay you may have a little bit of a bunch but you just want to make sure that the majority of it is flat and then when when it comes back out you just want to make sure that it's all still going the same way so that on these little places you can just flatten them out and you won't have any rolls or flips in your elastic so make sure it's going the correct way and I'm going to take this safety pin out now what I want to do is overlap my elastic probably about three quarters of an inch half inch to three quarters of an inch because like I said you want to have plenty of room to stitch here and I'm just going to run a stitch back and forth here probably um, right at the end of this piece of elastic and then also at the end of this piece of elastic so I'll have two different places that my elastic is stitched together and um, then I'll tuck it in and finish up this last little bit of waistband seam and then I'll be back. Just want to show you really quickly, I just went back and forth um, four times, one, two, three, four, and then here, one, two, three, four, so my elastic is nice and secure. So now I'm just going to tuck this in, make sure it's flat, and finish this last little bit of waistband. There we go, it is all done. Now what you want to do is stretch out your waistband and just kind of even it out around your elastic so you don't have any bunched up areas and then flat areas. So just kind of run it around and pull a little bit at a time as you go just to kind of make that waistband a little bit more even. There we go. Now the great thing about this is you can do this technique with pretty much any any dress that you like the skirt of. You just cut the top off, fold your uh, waistband line over, and put your elastic in. So if you like the, the design of the bottom of a dress but not so much the top, then it's really easy to just make an elastic waistband skirt. Um, I think this is pretty much finished. I just want to turn it right side out. And I will take some pictures of the finished product and show you, but this is right side out and you can see um, I used pink thread so you can kind of see right there where I was stitching. Uh, just make sure that your waistband is nice and um, even before you try to put it on because otherwise you'll have little bunches and it'll be uncomfortable. Ta-da! Here we go! Finished product. Skirt is all completely done. You can see I have nice elastic waistband and I have plenty of room to slide it up over my hips because I adjusted and then pulled it in nice and snug. And I love it. I'm really happy with it. And it's got this second layer here. I don't know if you could really see before, but it's actually got the two layers. So I could fold one layer up if I wanted to. So I really love this skirt and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Just a few quick things I wanted to tell you about. This technique can be used with pretty much any dress. If you like the bottom half and you like the, the skirt part of the dress but you don't like the top, just cut it off, 
fold over your waistband and then stitch it up and add your elastic. Whenever you are sizing the dress to make sure that it's going to fit you, you want to hold up the where the waistband of the skirt is going to be. You want to hold it up to yourself and make sure that it wraps around you. You're going to need it to come to about the back of your hip. So it should wrap completely around the front of your body and come towards the back of your hips. And that's going to allow for the elastic to uh, give enough to go up and down over your hips. So that's just a little something that you should keep in mind whenever you are picking a dress to turn into a skirt. Like I said, it can be done on pretty much any dress as long as the waistband area will wrap around and cover your hips. You can also hand stitch this if you need to, if you don't have a sewing machine or if you're not comfortable sewing it, you can hand stitch it. Just make sure that when you're stitching that you keep your seam line nice and straight because uh, the elastic needs to be able to fit all the way through. And also make sure that you are allowing enough room because sometimes when you hand stitch you can pull it a little bit tight. Make sure that you're not pulling your thread too tight if you're hand stitching this. I love the way this skirt turned out. I'm really, really excited about it and I happen to have a shirt that'll match. So um, I love it. I'm really happy. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. You can also leave me a comment and tell me what you thought about it. If you enjoy my videos, then please share them with your friends and spread the word. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on my blog. That's www.lifebytheseatofmypants.wordpress.com. You can find me here on YouTube and you can also find me on Facebook. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate your time and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, it came open again. doesn't usually do that. <laughs> but of course I'm on film, so it's doing it today. You just want to keep your elastic straight and flat as you're pushing it into your waistband. Try not to let it flip or bunch. Look, my safety pin keeps coming open. I never have that problem, ever. I've never had this happen before. Another quick note, I have never had a safety pin to pop open, but for some reason today this one has popped open about, oh, 15 times. <laughs> so if your safety pin pops open, just carefully close it. Try not to close the skirt up into it and make sure it's nice and closed and then start again. And just try not to hold the part where it, um, try not to move it. You're, you're going to have to hold the part where it, it closes, but just try not to move it. And then hold it because the wind just knocked it over. Uh. Do I need to back up and move forward? No, cameras have. Never mind. Okay. All right. We're recording. Make sure because you probably just stopped it. No, I stopped it and recorded. Okay. So I'm recording? Yes.